now with the first guilty plea in that Penn State hazing case. 21-year-old Ryan Burke pleading guilty to charges related to the death of Timothy Piazza, who died after an alcohol-fueled frat party last year. Gio Benitez has been following the story, this story from the start. Good morning, Gio. Robin, good morning. Prosecutors have said Tim Piazza was served 18 drinks in less than 90 minutes. Ryan Burke is one of the young men who served him that alcohol. He's pleading guilty to hazing and alcohol-related charges. His attorney suggesting the evidence was just too strong. This morning, one of the former members of what was Penn State's Beta Theta Pi fraternity now awaiting sentencing. Mr. Burke decided to step forward at his earliest opportunity uh, to acknowledge and accept his responsibility. 21-year-old Ryan Burke pleading guilty to nine charges related to the February 2017 hazing death of 19-year-old Tim Piazza. This is a tragedy. Um, and he is anxious to make amends. Burke, one of 26 former fraternity members facing charges, was seen on surveillance video giving Piazza a handle of vodka during an alcohol-fueled hazing ritual, which ended with Piazza eventually falling down a flight of stairs. Piazza's fraternity brothers taking 12 hours to call 911 after finding the pledge inebriated and unconscious. There are too few words to describe a loss so great. Um, this young man understands that. Our condolences go to the Piazza family. Piazza's grieving family has fought publicly to get justice for their son since his death. I don't understand how they could be so heartless and inhumane. Their attorney now saying the family is pleased to see one individual accept responsibility and encourage others to follow in his steps. We came to court, we acknowledge responsibility, and he's prepared to be sentenced. Now, these were misdemeanors, but Burke could face time in prison when he's sentenced next month. 25 other men are charged in connection with Piazza's death. The attorney general telling us overnight he plans to hold every responsible individual accountable. Robin. Gio, thank you. And our senior, senior legal analyst, Sonny Hostin, is back with us to talk about this yeah. as well. How do you think this man, young man pleading guilty will impact the others. I think we'll see other pleas as well. I think we'll see other people taking responsibility. We may even see this young man cooperating with the government and testifying against his former fraternity brothers. And I think that's really important here because we have the death of a young yes. man, someone that had such a promising future. People need to be held accountable for their actions. And how will this impact his sentencing? You know, I think when you do take a plea, prosecutors uh, certainly sometimes recommend less jail time, and perhaps that will happen if he cooperates with prosecutors. Prosecutors will also recommend less jail time. Ultimately, it's up to a judge. But I can't imagine that he will escape all prison time in a case like this. This is, again, about the death of a young person. Yes, will finally people take this seriously? You know, I think so. I think, uh, you know, maybe decades ago or another one or two generations ago, these were called regrettable accidents. Now, prosecutors know that this is unlawful behavior. Mm -hmm. I think attitudes have changed, but not only, and prosecutors are really taking a hard line with these hazing debts, but not only attitudes have changed, we have electronic evidence now. Right. Remember, the security cameras in this case made the difference. We had security cameras here, emails, uh, text messages, and so given the fact that we're in a new time, a new day with technology, mm -hmm. prosecutors have much more in their arsenal, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more uh, prosecution of these hazing debts. I was looking, doing some research. The government apparently doesn't um, have statistics as to how many deaths that have occurred be really? because of hazing, which I think is, is, is not a good thing, and perhaps the government will start taking a look at this. But over the past eight years, you have over 60 deaths, hazing deaths. And so, you know, this is something that needs to be taken very seriously. I know, and I keep thinking of the Piazza family, oh. you know, and they are, they are adamant in ma making sure that change comes yes. about. And justice. Yeah, and justice. And we will see you later on The View. You will, oh. you will. 11 o'clock. Uh, we'll be tuned in. <laughs> Thank you, Sonny. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.